Understanding typecasting, a common phenomenon in the arts and beyond. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating phrase, getting typecast. This term is commonly used in the arts, especially in acting, but it has broader applications in everyday life. Let's dive in and understand what it means to be typecast and how this concept plays out in various scenarios. Typecast is a verb that originates from the world of theater and film. To be typecast means to be repeatedly cast in the same type of role based on one's previous performances or personal characteristics. It often happens to actors who become so strongly associated with a specific character or type of role that casting directors and audiences struggle to see them in a different light. For instance, an actor who excels in comedic roles might find themselves only being offered similar parts, limiting their opportunities to showcase a broader range of acting skills. This phenomenon is not just limited to actors. It can happen in any profession where people are pigeonholed into specific roles or responsibilities based on past experiences or stereotypes. Let's look at some examples to better understand typecasting. 1. Acting. An actress known for playing villainous roles might be typecast as a villain in multiple movies. 2. Workplace. A software engineer who is skilled in a particular programming language may be typecast and only given projects that require that language, even though they have the capability to work with others. 3. Stereotypes. Sometimes, typecasting can stem from societal stereotypes, such as assuming someone will be good in a role based on their age, gender, or ethnicity. Being typecast can have both positive and negative implications. On the one hand, it can lead to steady work and recognition in a specific niche. On the other hand, it can limit personal and professional growth, reduce creative opportunities, and perpetuate stereotypes. For individuals, it's crucial to be aware of typecasting and find ways to showcase their versatility and breadth of skills. I hope this video has helped you understand the meaning and implications of getting typecast. It's a term that goes beyond the arts, affecting many aspects of professional and personal life. Remember, while it's great to be recognized for your strengths, it's also important to explore and develop a diverse range of skills and interests. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next video.